doing some research on zinc and or vitamin A and your acne and have you maybe found some conflicting pieces of advice on the interwebs? Well, I am here today to give you the final word on whether or not using zinc and vitamin A can be really supportive for you and your acne journey. Plus my favorite tool for getting really clear on your root acne triggers. So stay until the end for that. Hi there, my name is Jill Therese and after 15 years of acne struggles, I finally cleared my skin naturally. I created my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, to help you do the same. Seven years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without pills, creams, and or crazy hormones. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. There is a lot of info on the interwebs about zinc and vitamin A, so I wanted to give you some quick details on both of them, whether or not they'll work, avoid some common pitfalls that I see with these babies. So let's talk about zinc first. So zinc can actually be used topically or orally. And I wanna share some of the science behind why this specific item is used to support acne clearing because I'm a science nerd and I love stuff like that. So zinc has been used extensively, both topically and systemically for the management of acne since its effect on acne was recognized by a scientist named Michelson, who saw a patient with low serum zinc levels. Basically, it's really common for acne sufferers to have low levels of zinc in their system. It's like a common thing. So topically zinc on its own actually wasn't that clear cut, but the efficacy of topical anti-acne medications containing zinc acetate or oct to eight with or without erythromycin is either equal or superior to a few different medicines used alone in reducing the severity and number of acne lesions. Oral zinc sulfate is reportedly more effective in the treatment of severe acne for, than for the treatment of mild to moderate acne, but nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea occur frequently. Similarly, oral zinc gluconate has been found useful in managing inflammatory acne but the initial loading dose is not beneficial. Key detail about this that I think you should know right now is that if you take zinc on an empty stomach boo boo, you might throw that ish up. <laughs> I'm serious. Like I remember distinctly once I took zinc, I took like a big multivitamin, but it was predominantly zinc. And um, I left a house and I took it and I didn't think to eat prior. And I got in the car and I had to pull over like four blocks away from the house and just threw up half the pill. Sorry, this is gross, but like I threw up like half the pill on the side of the road. So always chat with your doctor before you're adding in any, tor any oral medication like this, but definitely with zinc, take it on a full AF stomach. The reason zinc supports acne healing is rather poorly elucidated in a lot of different studies, but ultimately it's considered to act directly on microbial inflammatory equilibrium and facilitate antibiotic absorption. So essentially it helps the absorption of the antibiotic that's dealing with the acne on your face because all of our acne is largely from the growth and the proliferation of bacteria at the pore level. Zinc also plays a really important role in wound healing as well as the immune response and tissue regeneration. Also generally, low levels of zinc seem to enhance the effect of testosterone on increasing sebum and keratin secretion and makes it difficult for skin to heal the way that it should. So zinc does a lot very important for us it's a commonly you're, you're like if you're dealing with acne you are probably quite commonly low in zinc and it's definitely something to explore either topically or orally but be careful if you take it orally as so you know on bomb.com so let's talk about vitamin a vitamin a is what is a very commonly prescribed topical anti-acne agent and you have probably heard of it in the form of tretinoin 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 retin-a there are a bunch of different vitamin A topical products that you have heard of and probably used. I remember when I was dealing with my acne, I, I used Retin-A, Retin-A Micro, and actually I really, they worked for a little bit, as all the treatments did. And I actually really liked them because, well, well so generally speaking, these products are going to increase skin cell turnover. So they're gonna support one of the processes that you need in place to support acne healing, long story short, but that can lead to a kind of purging effect. So if you started any type of tretinoin or retin-A, retin-A micro, I don't even know if retin-A micro still exists, you can let me know in the comments, and you've experienced 
kind of a significant amount of breakouts. That's what's going on. Don't worry too much. Anything beyond eight weeks is rather cause for concern in my experience, but I would always, I remember I was on Retin-A so many different times and I would have this like really big purge effect where my skin would get right red, bright red, it would peel. And then after a few weeks, it would calm and it would be like smooth and fantastic. Um, but I was incredibly sensitive to the sun, which I'm really anal about sunscreen anyways, but definitely something to keep in mind too. If you're using any type of Retin-A, or topical vitamin A product, please wear sunscreen and be really careful. So let's discuss vitamin A orally. Vitamin A orally, like as seen in your food or taken as a vitamin, right, is a fat soluble vitamin. It's primarily known for its immune supporting effects and it deeply impacts your eyes. It's really necessary for skin health as well. It supports healthy reproductive function, adrenal and thyroid hormone manufacture and activity, maintaining the structure of nerve cells, immunity and cell growth. So some common food sources for vitamin A are liver, whole milk, you can find it in beta carotenes, carotenes, things like dark green leafy vegetables, collards, spinach, carrots, sweet potatoes, yams, squash, all the things. So now you're like, okay, cool, Jill, a ton of science on zinc and vitamin A, what do I do? You gave me all these details and now what's the best? There are so many different paths to treatment for using these two different things, zinc and vitamin A. You have both topical, vitamin A and zinc, and both oral vitamin A and zinc. And it really kind of depends on what you need the most. So if I were you and I was dealing with pretty mild acne, but you wanted to give your body some extra support, I would grab a quality multivitamin with very low levels of biotin, if you can find it, because biotin can contribute to some breakouts. I have another video on that that I'll share via a link below. But generally speaking, that quality multivitamin is going to have all the zinc you need and all the vitamin A that you need. And those two orally will support you from an internal nutritional perspective. Ideally, you will get these things from your food, but if you're just not able to eat enough veggies in a day or you're having absorption issues, which is another issue around gut health and wellness, and you aren't able to absorb the vitamins the right way, then sometimes supplementing with a multivitamin is really helpful. Like I eat a really, really, really great diet, but I take a multivitamin every day. I actually track my food often because I like to know what I'm eating and I'm always deficient in something. And so taking a really quality multivitamin is really helpful for you and supportive, especially if you've recently come off taking the birth control pill, type yes below if that's you. So that's why my first recommendation would just be to grab a quality multivitamin. The next recommendation would be to focus on eating foods that have a ton of vitamin A and zinc. So the foods I just mentioned, liver, whole milk, beta carotenes, dark green leafy vegetables, sweet potatoes, carrots. If you added two of those servings in, two to three servings of those every day into your daily diet, that would support you so much from a nutritional perspective. You can always too, if you're wanting some extra support topically, go ask your doctor about a zinc product and or a vitamin A product. Generally speaking, you aren't gonna to wanna to use, I mean, you can, you can use a lot of different things at the same time based on levels and how often you're using them. But to me, that would be a little bit irritating for my skin. I know when I had acne, I just like threw the kitchen sink at it all the time and then I completely ruined my skin barrier. Um, but using like a, a mild or a low form of a vitamin A derivative. So tretinoin, retin-A, retin-A micro, they all come in like very specific levels. They'll be at like 0.01% or 0.2%, all, they have different levels. So if you want to explore that route topically, definitely chat with your doctor. My recommendation is always to get your vitamin needs from your food and then to support your skin topically from an acne perspective by simplifying the heck out of your skincare routine. So I think you know, like I mentioned, I use Retin-A with success at various points when I was dealing with acne, but never long-term. And so I think in the short term, some of these things are good. Like if I had a really bad flare up of acne for some reason, which I haven't had since I cleared my skin, I might explore some type of Retin-A prescription short term while I also addressed whole foods and lifestyle stuff, because that is the stuff that is gonna keep your skin clear forever, which is what has happened for me and all of my clients in the clear code. So I want you to take action right now. If you're here typing these questions into Google and or YouTube, it's because you have questions about why you're breaking out in the first place. 
and I really wanna help you understand why you're breaking out in the first place. So I have a root triggers quiz. It's 10, it's 10 questions, 30 seconds long, and you can download three action steps and three recipes you can start to eat on a daily basis to support acne healing from the inside out based on your root triggers. So it's really fantastical and I would love for you to take it. Also, if you wanna join a safe, private, and empathetic group of people dealing with acne the way you are, we would love to support you in our private Facebook group. So make sure you find the link to that below as well and request to join us. We would love to welcome you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I always answer them. And please share this with anyone who might have questions about their skin. If you're like, I know my best friend, my cousin, my sister, all the things, all the peoples have questions about natural acne healing in general, or if they should use zinc or vitamin A, please send them this little intro video so that they can get kind of an idea of what's available for them. And also a little taste of what's available when you focus on healing naturally as well. Okay, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.